Welcome back to educator.com. Today's lessons on regular expressions. Uh, what are regular expressions? Um, they're used to match patterns against strings. Um, in, in Ruby, you'll, you'll see the, the object is called uh, REGEXP, reg expression. And um, it's, uh, it's the main object to create uh, regular expressions. And uh, it is used to match a pattern against strings, as I just said. So how do you create a regular expression? Um, there's, there's three ways. One is using the forward slashes. This is the, the most popular way. And it, uh, it follows a similar syntax as in other languages. So if you're coming from another language, you'll probably see this most often. It's the most familiar to you. Another way is uh, the literal syntax. This one is uh, more well known in, in, uh, in Ruby. Uh, it uses the percentage R, this curly braces there. And you have it through the constructor with the regular expression, uh, new, that creates it through the constructor. So you saw on that slide it has the, the dot, dot, dot. Now what goes in there? Um, you can put uh, uh, a different type of things in there. So, for example, for this one, I say it's two words. And for that, I have this regular expression. What it says here is I'm going to take a word character, one or more word characters, a space, and then one or more word characters again. So that's what that regular expression is matching. Another one I have here is a range of digits. So it takes one or more digit characters, which is uh, 0 through 9. And then the other one I have here is just dot, dot, dot. And this one is for you to, to be creative. And uh, if you were just to put dot, 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 it would match three wildcard characters. So uh, this is just, you know, be creative and, and uh, update that to uh, make your own regular expression. That's what I want you to do. So let's just write that down. Make your own. Okay, so to create regular expressions, we need to look at four different key elements. One is meta characters bracket expressions, quantifiers, and anchors. So first we're going to look at uh, meta characters. For, for this one we have, uh, we're going to look at this, the, the dot. This will match any character except the new line. The next one we're looking at uh, this uh, multi-line mode it just adds this M at the end, so it can match new lines. Uh, here with the with the slash in the lowercase w, this matches a word character. A word character is a lowercase a through z, capital A through z, zero through nine, or uh, this underscore character. Another one we can do is uh, with a capital W, uh, we can match a non-word character. All this is is it's not A through Z, not A through Z, up capital, 0 through 9, or the, the, the underscore there. And, uh, the, the slash D matches a digit character, it's 0 through 9. A capital D does a non-digit character. Uh, you can match hex digit characters, uh, 0 through 9, A through F. 
the capital H, a non-hex digit character, uh, the small